Uh, besides writing good documentation using JavaDocs comment styles, another thing we'll be working towards is unit testing of classes. As we build these classes, we'll want to build tests right into them. Uh, so this is your first introduction to some unit tests in here. It talks about writing tests <coughs> excuse me, um, and setting up stuff. So often when we declare a class like this stats info class that we have here, alongside of it, we'll declare another class that will test it out. Uh, and in fact, the code for often testing out a class will be as long uh, as the code for defining that class. But it'll automate, automate the testing of that class and the different uh, things we want to test. Um, we'll learn more about some of this stuff in the cert statements and how we want to cover tests later on. A good introduction I'll also post is from the designers of... Uh, this uh, BlueJay and BlueJay has some nice test information built in and so they walk you through uh, some automated test environments within BlueJay so I like um, this description here uh, that walked you through this so I'll post links in this to this. In this video we shall explore the support that BlueJay provides for automated testing. Okay so I'll post links to that uh, video also uh, in our work area. Um, but again in BlueJay uh, we'll see that we can, uh, we've, we've got some testing stuff uh, built in here and then we can uh, do some testing, we can run tests and we can also create a test class uh, for any method which will create a, a method behind that and we can write our test methods in here. So in our next unit we'll explore more with the automated BlueJay testing uh, and setting that up. Um, but just walk through, walk through this unit that just talks about what unit testing is and how we're doing unit testing and this term. So you want to learn the term regression testing and unit testing. Um, the issue we run into is that uh, we'll define a class and we'll uh, test out some things with the class, but then we'll make changes to it, and we have to go back and run the same tests again, and we might make another change or do something else and have to run those same tests again. Uh, we want to test frequently. Uh, a lot of development environments are now, companies are now using what's called test-driven development, where the tests, uh, you have to run your tests on every change you make, and so this automated test procedure is just essential to do uh, fast development.